Time now for the morning rush. The city of Santa Fe is narrowing down on what to do with the former site of the obelisk in the plaza. A city selection committee is recommending the artful life to lead the process. The city has now budgeted $254,000 for the chart process. The city hopes to start that in October. Virgin Galactic is now holding a sweepstakes for a trip to suborbital space. The giveaway, in partnership with the charity fundraiser Omaze, will let two winners go on board Virgin Galactic's VSS Unity. It's early next year. The winners will be announced on September 29th. Officials have closed down now the area of 10th and Ross Avenue in Belen, saying that the recent storms washed out the dirt under a manhole, causing a sinkhole. The road is scheduled to be closed for repairs for much of the week. Meanwhile, crews are checking the stability of other manholes around the city. Erica. And here's a look at the morning commute forecast. Temperatures are in the upper 60s right now. They'll climb into the low 70s by 9 a.m. with lots of sunshine and dry skies through the morning commute. Santa Fe's Art Week kicked off yesterday with multiple activities each day showcasing local artists and their work. The variety of artwork includes glass, sculptures, oil and wax work. The week wraps up with the Santa Fe Artist Market at the rail yards for people to shop for pottery and more. Well, six months after the January 6th Capitol riots, workers are now removing the fencing installed around the building. That removal process is set to be complete by later on today. The grounds will now be patrolled solely by the U.S. Capitol Police. Ninety people are now confirmed dead this morning at the collapsed Champlain Towers in Surfside, Florida. Around 31 people remain unaccounted for. It's after crews shifted from their rescue to recovery operations last week. Miami-Dade Fire Chief says the recovery efforts could be done within two weeks. That's based on the current pace of work. Erica. Here's a look at the Metro Threat Index. It's low today. We'll see a chance for an evening shower or storm. And otherwise, it's going to be hot with highs in the low 90s. Four men are waking up in jail this morning after authorities say that they found more than a dozen weapons and thousands of rounds of ammo in their hotel room near the Major League Baseball All-Star Game in Denver. The FBI says there's no reason to believe that the incident is connected to terrorism or has any threat against the All-Star Game. The Aquatic Center in Clovis is now closed this morning after being trashed by vandals. The city says that the damage includes broken windows and that items used by the swim team were thrown into the pool. The Aquatic Center will be shut down today and tomorrow for repairs. The investigation is ongoing. Drivers who take Broadway may need to find a new route. Beginning this morning, Broadway between Lomas and Mountain will be shut down for 90 days while crews build a new pump station to help manage flooding. That project is scheduled to be complete by October. Erica. Now let's get a look at that morning drive. Here's a look at the traffic maps. It looks like we do have a, an incident on I-25 on the shoulder, and so that may cause some slowdowns. And here's a look at tra a tracker going west on I-40 near San Mateo. An Albuquerque native is heading to Tokyo, competing in the first ever skateboarding event for the Olympic Games. Mariah Duran started skateboarding with her brothers when she was just 10 years old, going pro in 2016 and then winning the gold at the X Games in 2018. Duran leaves for Tokyo this coming Sunday. Welcome back. Here's a look at what happened on this day in 2008. There was flash flooding in Deming and two to three feet of water covered most of the roads making it impossible to get around and a lot of that water entering homes as well. There were also strong wind gusts that toppled power poles. So they were out of power and we could end up seeing some flash flooding today in the lower Rio Grande Valley and the Gila. So we could end up uh, with that threat. There is a flood watch in effect for those areas. And time now for the five facts. At number five, Santa Fe's Art Week kicked off yesterday with multiple activities each day, showcasing local artists and their work. The variety of artwork includes glass, sculptures, oil, and wax work. The week is going to wrap up with the Santa Fe Artist Market at the rail yards for people to shop for pottery, jewelry, and more. At number four, an Albuquerque native is heading to Tokyo, competing not only in her first Olympics, but in the first ever skateboarding event for the Olympic Games. Mariah Duran started skateboarding with her brothers when she was just 10 years old, going pro in 2016 and then winning gold at the X Games in 2018. Uh, Duran is now currently training in California, and she's going she's to be heading out to Tokyo this coming Sunday. And at number three, we do have a chance for showers and storms today. Most of those are going to be in the northern and western parts of the state, leaving eastern New Mexico very dry. We'll have a chance for some heavy storms coming off of the Sangre de Cristo Mountains into the East Mountain Central Highlands area, and we could see a shower in the metro by the evening. 
At number two, following Virgin Galactic's successful mission yesterday, the company is now having a sweepstakes for a trip to a free trip to suborbital space. That giveaway is going to let two winners go on Virgin Galactic's uh, exploration next uh, early next year. The winners will also get an all-expenses-paid trip to New Mexico. Those interested can make a charitable donation on Omaze from now until September 1st. And at number one this morning, the city of Santa Fe is narrowing down on what to do with the former site of the obelisk in the Santa Fe Plaza. The city selection committee, made up of two city employees, is recommending Artful Life to lead the process. The city has budgeted $254,000 for the process. The city hopes to start that by October. It's going to now go to the Public Works Committee later on today, and the city council could take a vote as early as Wednesday.